A new leak has hit the internet showing a bunch of Bandai Namco games potentially coming to the Nintendo Switch. Your PS4 is allegedly a ticking time bomb as a new discovery has been made about playing games on the system that definitely needs to be corrected. And finally, Nintendo has announced a new Nintendo Switch Lite and it's coming out very soon. What's going on guys, I'm RGT85. If this is your first time on the channel, welcome. Be sure to hit that subscribe button and be sure to like the video. But without any further ado, let's talk about what's going on in the world of video games. So Bandai Namco and Nintendo obviously have a very deep relationship. Look at Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Bandai Namco essentially made that game right alongside of Sakurai, and it's probably the best version of Smash Bros. that we've ever gotten in terms of content, in terms of characters, and in terms of just how much stuff the game actually has. Of course, this extends even deeper to the fact that allegedly Bandai Namco was originally working on Metroid Prime 4 before the game, of course, went back to Retro Studios. But it is kind of interesting that a lot of Bandai Namco games Games, especially within their back catalog of games, don't necessarily come to the Nintendo Switch. Well, a new leak is coming to us from Leaky Panda, who is someone that we've talked about on this channel before. And honestly, you know, their track record is a bit spotty. It's something that we've highlighted before on this channel. I've done some research on them. Times they were right, times they were wrong. So take this information with a grain of salt as far as actual confirmation. But I have heard some of these games potentially coming to the Nintendo Switch before this leak. So I just wanted to very briefly highlight them. Well, essentially, Leaky Panda said that the following games were discovered in their research. Dragon Ball Z Kakarot for the Nintendo Switch would be coming. Tales of Destiny would be coming to the PC, PS4, Xbox One, and Nintendo Switch. Tales of Arise would be coming to Xbox Game Pass. Dark Souls would be looking to further expand into the Nintendo Switch and Stadia. And Gundam Breaker 4 would be coming to the PC, PS5, and Xbox Series X. Now, Dragon Ball Z Kakarot is actually a game that I have heard was coming to the Nintendo Switch before this leak. It kind of makes sense for it to come to the system. The Dragon Ball Z games obviously do very well on the Nintendo Switch. I am not a Dragon Ball Z fan. I tried to watch like two episodes in my younger years and I was like, what, what, what is going on here? What, what the hell is happening? I do not understand this. Anime is just not for me. But to downplay the success of things like Dragon Ball Z would be very silly in my opinion because people obviously like this. One game I find very interesting on this list would be Tales of Destiny. Now, Tales of Destiny was originally a PlayStation 1 game, so would this be a sort of remake or just an HD remaster of that original game that comes out on a lot of platforms? I'm not quite sure, but I would definitely be very interested to see what ends up happening with this. But really, of course, Dark Souls is yet another very interesting thing. We had Dark Souls remastered on the Nintendo Switch, and of course, the Souls games are very popular. Now, once again, I'm, I'm not a Souls fan. Like, I've completely realized that and I've completely become to terms with it. I don't like dying a lot. I don't like repetition and then dying and maybe you get a little bit further and then you're like, oh, well, I've just lost all my progress. Like, stuff like that just frustrates the hell out of me. I know there's a lot of people out there that love it. I know there's going to be people in the comment section that are like, AGT, you're such a noob. But like, I, I like other games that are difficult. I just don't like games that are super difficult to the point of where it's like just maddening to me. But to see more dark Dark Souls on the Nintendo Switch would be a very good thing. Like I said, Dark Souls Remastered did pretty decent on the Nintendo Switch. I played the game. I actually had some sort of fun with it, but it's definitely just not a franchise for me. But it would be interesting to see them expand the Dark Souls universe onto the Nintendo Switch. Now, like I said, this is coming from Leaky Panda, who does have a very uh, spotty record. But the fact that I have heard that Dragon Ball Z Kakarot was coming to the Nintendo Switch, it really made me want to talk about this a bit more. So, are any of these bands Namco games interesting to you. Definitely the most interesting to me would be Tales of Arise. I would be interested to see in what they're going to do with that. Is it a full-on remaster? Is it just an HD remake using the same baseline PS1 game? It's a very good game, a very highly sought-after game as well. So it would be something that's very fun for Tales fans. And then, of course, you have the whole fact that people want Lloyd from Tales of Symphonia to be in Smash Brothers. Maybe this could be a doorway to enter that sort of thing. Who the hell knows? But yeah, let me know in the comment section down below if any of these games interest you and if any of these games would be appealing to you on the Nintendo Switch or on the other platforms that we mentioned. 
Next up, we're going to talk about something that, yes, today, April 13th of 2021, is not an issue. But for the future, it is an issue. And you say, oh, the future, you know, it's far away. Look at what's happening with the PS3 store, the PS Vita store, and, of course, the PSP store. People are outraged about this situation. They don't like to see these stores going away. There's lots of ramifications and repercussions, games completely disappearing. PS Vita developers who were making games for the system are now realizing that the store is closing without any sort of warning. So, yes, it is not an issue today but it is going to be an issue in the future and this involves the playstation 4 one of the best-selling consoles of all time a very popular console console that i really enjoyed that has a lot of great games on it well recently there's been a lot of discussion about sony and their lineage of systems pretty much coming down to the fact that jim ryan doesn't seem to give a crap about the previous generations even though everything that we saw from the playstation 5 was only capable through the power of the playstation 5 yet a lot of these games are ps4 games as well i digress we'll talk about that later because we've already talked about it a million times but basically a discovery was made from a lot of people on twitter who were interested in what was happening with these playstation stores going down allegedly if you replace the internal cmos battery on your playstation 4 physical or digital games will not work offline without connecting to sony's server first instead receiving the error code of ce30391-6 now allegedly this is tied to the trophy system used with in these games as the time and the date needs to be verified by PSN to do this. Now, like I said, is this an issue right now? No, because if you need to change out that battery, which might I add, isn't very simple, you actually have to open up the PlayStation 4 and get into the internals of it to replace that battery. You of course can then sync to the PSN network for the PlayStation 4 and access your game. But this isn't something that's going to be around forever. Now, could this be fixed potentially? I mean, yes, if you do a firmware update on the PlayStation 4, which I guess would only be for now going towards the future, you can make it so that you could still play your games on the system without having to check in with the trophy thing and just sort of overriding that, especially if you're offline, because I mean, who cares about offline trophies or anything like that? But just looking at the direction that Jim Ryan is taking Sony in by basically saying, who cares about playing games like Gran Turismo 1 and Gran Turismo 2, which are lineage playstation games like i don't see this being a priority for them or something that they're necessarily going to care about all of your previous Nintendo consoles have very easy battery swapping and you can still access your games offline. I've replaced a ton of batteries in my Sega Saturn and of course the Xbox brand still lets you play some original Xbox games on their modern platforms without having to worry about things like this. But when you look at the PlayStation 4, it's really just essentially a ticking time bomb with this whole battery situation. All companies to some extent are going to have problems in the future. Of course, you can't downplay that. The fact that digital stores will go down it's just an inevitability at this point in time the fact that a lot of games get these huge patches that come out you're not getting the most updated version of the game if you're playing a game offline and then you just pop your disc in but you could still play the game it's just a really weird future to think about where your PlayStation 4 and your PlayStation 4 collection of games could be potentially worthless if you can't play them on your system now like I said it's not a problem now but the fact that so many people are upset about the PS3 the PSP and the PS Vita stores closing down should show you that it's going to be a problem in the future. I definitely hope Sony addresses this. I think the PlayStation 4 is a fantastic console and to worry about down the road when the PS4 store eventually closes because it's eventually going to close and then you're not going to have access to these games if you need to replace your internal battery or just access these games online to begin with. Like, what does that say about the future of PlayStation 4 games and preservation for it? It's going to be a very interesting situation. And finally, something we've talked about I think a good bit on this channel would be Nintendo Switch systems and Nintendo Switch variants of systems. And it seems like Nintendo hasn't really done a lot with them, especially with a system that I think makes perfect sense, the Nintendo Switch Lite. It is a budget entry into the Nintendo Switch family coming in at $199.99. When the system was initially unveiled, we of course got a look at three different colors, a gray color, a turquoise color, a yellow color. It seemed like Nintendo was going to do a lot of stuff with this and then nothing like that was it that was the drop those were the colors you were going to get well a few days after nintendo talked about manufacturing stuff and nintendo switch hardware which we covered in a video if you missed that video make sure you guys go check that out it was the previous video before this nintendo actually has announced a brand new nintendo switch Lite variant in a royal blue color that honestly it looks a lot like a nyx blue color and i kind of want to buy one and put like some orange accents on it to make it like the ultimate nyx 
system. Now I'm obviously an idiot and I can't take apart anything. So I'd probably just get some like finger paint and like paint the buttons or something like that. But yes, a new Nintendo Switch Lite variant in this blue color is coming and it's actually coming very soon. Now this system will be launching on May 21st, which happens to be the same day as the huge successful hit game Metopia. And really, I completely forgot Metopia was even coming out. Now, if you're unfamiliar with what Metopia is, it is basically a game that was available on the 3DS. It wasn't that free game that a lot of people thought it was. It was actually a paid game on the system. I believe it was a $40 game that was kind of like a weird action RPGs in which you would use your me characters to sort of play the game. Now, a version is coming to the Nintendo Switch with some enhancements. I'm not quite sure if it's like a full on sequel or anything like that. It is a $50 game. And honestly, I have like negative interest in this game. Like it just, it doesn't appeal to me whatsoever, but I'm sure some Metopia fans in the comment section are absolutely losing their mind and want to, you know, stab me in the stomach or something like that. Look, it's cool if you like Metopia. I'm just not a Metopia person, but both of these things will be coming out on May 21st. And really it just appears to be the same Nintendo Switch Lite that originally released back in 2019. Obviously there's been lots of talks about upgrades coming to the Nintendo Switch, things within the firmware of the system, pretty much confirming that an upgrade is coming to the Nintendo Switch. I guess we won't really know the innards of it and whatnot until someone like Spawn Wave buys one and opens it up, but I think this is a very good and smart decision for Nintendo. Nintendo should be doing a bunch of colorways for the Nintendo Switch Lite. I, I think like every three to six months, if you wanted to drop like a new color of that system, you should do that. Like it, it's a cool little thing, you know, it's almost at that price point where you could just sort of collect them if you like to collect them, you know, $200 isn't all that bad when you look at other Nintendo handhelds as far as the 3DS and stuff were concerned and people collected those systems, you know, all the time. So I definitely like the colorway of this system. I am interested to see if the innards are exactly the same. I expect them to be the same, but yeah, that, 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 that Knicks blue, man, it's like, it's like, you know, it's perfect. It's perfect for the playoffs when the Knicks are in the playoffs come this May. And you know, I kind of want to get my hands on one. So let me know what you think of this new colorway in the comment section down below. And let me know if you plan on picking this up. And if you think Nintendo should do more colorways, because I mean, it just makes sense. All right, so that is going to do it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Be sure to let me know what you think of everything in the comment section down below. Do you believe the Leaky Panda leak? Do you think these Bandai Namco games will be coming to the Nintendo Switch? The whole PS4 situation, does this sort of surprise you? Do you think Sony will do something to rectify this so your PS4 will actually work in the future and you'll be able to play games on it? Or is this something that's just going to be a casualty of the digital age and just something we're gonna have to deal with within the video game industry going forward? And the new Nintendo Switch light do you like this color is it something you want to buy shout out to the new york knicks two big wins and really three big wins in a row but really the, the memphis game and the lakers game were definitely huge wins we're looking great you know people have been making fun of the knicks stuck the Knicks suck. I've been hearing it all season long. Well, look, the Knicks are going to be in the playoffs, so you might as well deal with it. And my Hornets are going to be in the playoffs, so you might as well deal with it. And as always, guys, thank you for watching this video. If you are new to the channel, make sure you subscribe and turn on notifications. Check out other videos on the channel as well. Like I said, check out that Nintendo Switch hardware video and game video from Sunday. And as always, I'll catch you guys on the next one. Later.